subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hi, I'm Anali Zamomi, hair and makeup expert. Today I'm going to show you how to create this smoky eye look for Asian eyes, for people with monolids, for people with small eyes and for anybody who wants to make their eyes look bigger. So for this look, we're going to focus mostly on the eye makeup and I'm going to start by doing my eye makeup first because smoky eyes can get really messy and a lot of products can fall out and I want to avoid that. If you're interested in learning the base, you can check out my video in the link below the description box. So I'm applying this concealer on my eyelids to even out my eyelids and to brighten it. So this will bring out the intensity of my eyeshadow and make my eyeshadow last longer. So I'll be taking this shade. Make sure you don't apply it on your crease. You want to apply it on top of your crease as this will give you an illusion of a bigger looking eyes. And then soften the edges. And now you're taking your crease brush and we are going to create an outer V using this shade from Makeup Revolution. So you create an outer V. And I'm just gonna blend it inwards. You don't want to press your brush to your skin. And Use your black shadow or a dark brown eye shadow and apply it on your love bands. The more surface area that you work on, your eyes will look even bigger. So if this color is still here, I'm going to give an illusion of a bigger looking eye. So it will look like that I have this bigger eyes. Take some more of it and fill in the outer way and start blending. In case you want to go for a more intense smoky eye makeup look, you can always apply a black cordial over here. And then on top of that, you can apply your black eye shadow. And now to open up my eyes and add a little drama, I will be using a pop of champagne color for my tear duct area. Add a little bit on your brow bone area. So if you have small eyes and you want your eyes to look bigger, you have to use an off-white cordial. Here I'm using the one from Inglot in the shade 05. You see how it just popped up my eyes, the difference between the two. And the next step is to apply your eyeliner. I'm using the one from Maybelline the Eye Studio in black. So while applying the eyeliner, we want to make sure that we have very thin eyeliner because if you apply a thick one, your crease is going to look smaller. Use your lower lash line as your base. So from here, just pull it outwards. You take the same eyeliner and put it right on your lash line till the two third of your eyes. So this will really open up your eyes. So the next step is to curl your lashes. Since I have extensions, I won't be curling them. So I'm using this mascara by Maybelline. Again, since I have extensions, I'll be applying it only on my lower lashes. So the last step for the eye makeup is the eyebrows. I'm using Benefit's Carbrow Eyebrow Cream Gel in the shade 05. So you just take in your product and this time we are going to go for an arched eyebrow look. So the more arched your eyebrows are, your eyes are going to look bigger because it will add dimension to your eyes. Try to give yourself a nice long arch as that will make your eyes look less flatter. And any extra harsh lines, we can just comb it out with this pulley. Now that I'm done with my eye makeup, I'm going to go in with my foundation. But before that, I don't want any creasing under my eyes. So I'm going to take a drop of Indulgio Rose Gold Oil and apply it on my under eyes. Keep this for a minute or two, let it soak in. So the next step is to apply your neutralizer. I'm using the Nykaa Skin Genius Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Deep 03. This step is really crucial. If you skip this step, you will have grayness in a certain areas of your face. So in whichever areas I feel is like really pigmented, I will be applying it there. So for my foundation, I'm using a medium coverage foundation. This foundation is from Kiko Milano. It's the unlimited foundation. And this foundation is buildable.
again when you're applying your foundation to apply it smoothly you want to circulate it and don't forget to apply it on your neck as well now I'll go in with my concealer I'll be applying it right here So for baking my under eyes, I'm using the one from Prada Beauty. I will be applying a generous amount. In case you have really dry skin, you want to skip this step. So we're going to let this set for some time. Till then, let's get to the contouring part. So for contouring my face, I'll be using the same palette from Nykaa. And you want to use a shade which is 2 to 3 shades darker than your skin tone. So I'll be using this shade. So you want to follow the hollows of your cheeks. Start from here, ending it here. So I have used Milani Baked Bronzer and I've applied it just on my cheeks. So for highlighting my face, I've used a shimmer and strobe highlighter palette from Flower Beauty. For my lipstick, I've used this long-lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra in the shade Manila. I like to team the look with a nude lipstick color. You can go for reds, but uh, that's not really me or I don't really recommend it because that gets too loud. So what I love about liquid lipsticks is that it lasts you the entire night and the entire day but just make sure that you have your lips properly hydrated and moisturized. If not, you'll be left with chapped lips which you don't want. I want to add some glam to my eyes. So I'll be using this glitter from Etude House Mirror Holic Liquid Eyes in the shade Champagne. You have to apply it where you see the lighter area of the eyeshadow. Just apply it right there. You don't want to bring your glitter towards the end. You just want to bring it to two thirds of the area. So this is a complete look for our smoky eye. Let me know whether you like the matte smoky eye or the glitter smoky eyes. And if you want to add more drama, you can always add false lashes because it makes a lot of difference. I highly recommend the one from Huda Beauty. Next, I'm going to set my makeup in place by using the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. I hope you liked this video and if you have any more requests, I'd love to help out. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Naga TV for more.